Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches! Episode 65! So tonight we're reviewing uh, the new uh, Joe Wright film, <clears throat> who we love, the new Joe Wright film, uh, Pan. Oh, well, 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 this movie... This movie was a disaster! <laughs> it kind of was. I just... I knew going in that it was gonna be bad. Like See, I okay, knew. I thought it would be like not great. Yeah. But at least it would be cool looking because it's Joe Wright. But it turns out that it's a disaster. It's like he had a like an identity crisis. Or because, like a stroke. Because because like visually it kind of feels like a Terry Gilliam movie sometimes. But then or like a Baz Luhrmann. Well, movie. but then sometimes it feels like a Baz Luhrmann movie, and you're like, oh, this isn't working at all, Joe. Right? He needs to stick to period pieces. Yeah. And actually, well, I liked Hannah. Oh, I did like Hannah. That wasn't a period piece. All his other movies I love, like Atonement yep. and The Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice and Hannah. They're directed by a very deft hand, mm -hmm. right? He has a very clear vision. Yep. It's Joe Wright's vision, yep. and I'm like on board for it. This seemed very confused. My God, the soundtrack is insane. So when Peter arrives in Neverland, which looks like the tombs of Mad Max. <laughs> The people in these Mad Max tombs, it's a mine apparently. Yeah. Um start <clears throat> chanting Nirvana's smells like teen spirit. You know what little kids that were born in the two thousands love? Nirvana. Where the lights out, it's as dangerous. And that's why it feels like a Bob Lerman movie, right? Because you're yeah. like, oh, well, in Moulin Rouge, they sing all those pop songs. But that was like a choice. That was stylistic. And it was also it was, a musical. It was a musical. It was throughout. Yep. This one, they do it twice. twice. They also sing Blitzkrieg Bop by the, Mar the, by the Maroons, by the Ramones. Which made no sense. How did they all know this song? How did this song even come to like, them? Are because... they trying to make like a point like... Like, Kurt Cobain and the Ramones are, like, forever young, so they live in Neverland? I, it, like, is that a thing? It, I, it literally, none of it made any, like, there was no explanation of, like, oh, that makes sense. Do you know what, what? was around in 1940? Yeah, so they explicitly explain that it, this is occurring during World War II. And then, apparently, Neverland... Has exists access to the future. In all time and place. Yeah. It's like in Winter's Tale, when the devil... It's wearing... At the turn of the century, is wearing a Jimi Hendrix t-shirt, and you're like... What? But why? You know what they needed? They're singing it? They needed the guitarist war van from Mad Max. Right? With the flames coming out of it. Just being like, like now, wow, 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 wow. Now, if Mad Max had included some Nirvana, I would not have been mad. That would have made sense. I would have been okay with it. I could have understood that, I think. But yeah. this was like Mad Max light. So, Hugh Jackman delivers maybe the funniest performance of his career as Blackbeard. I thought it was Ben Kingsley. <laughs> you thought that was Ben Kingsley? I don't know. Whoa. That was Hugh Jackman? That was straight up Hugh Jackman. Oh my god. That's why he had to sing. When did he sing? When he sang Oh, he wasn't Spirit. singing. He was just like, here we are now. That was like a really good Hugh Jackman impersonation. <laughs> it's very nasal, right? Yeah. Um, he's Blackbeard, who's basically the witch from Return to Oz. <laughs> he's got big collars. Like, I was genuinely like, when's he going to open his closet? It's going to be full of heads, and he's just going to start switching them out. He, like, huffs some pixie dust like it's meth, and it, like... <laughs> Yeah, because pick. So they kept saying this word. They kept saying pixum. Yeah, pixum. I kept thinking they were saying pixel. I did too. But it's pixum. Yep. Fairy dust. Yep. That is like crystallized. That is. The and they mine for it. Fountain of youth. Ultimately, he wants to find, or he has Pan lead him to this 
like secret fairy secret kingdom? fairy hideout kingdom right where there's just tons of fairy dust obviously it's like a giant crystallized cavern it looks like the fortress of solitude yep the last 20 minutes of this movie happened in the fortress of solitude <laughs> but there's no satin sheets so it was wasn't as classy <laughs> i didn't understand his plan he didn't seem like um, he was driven mad by it. You know, like I needed him oh, to be that more like, been... I'm crazy, I need it all, you know, like I'm nuts. He just seemed like kind of a dick. There was a whole backstory where Blackbeard and Peter Pan's mom. Peter Pan's... Had a love affair? Peter Pan... Okay, Blackbeard's in love with Peter Pan's mom. Yep. She's in love with a fairy yep. that's Peter's dad. Yep. Blackbeard catches them. Yeah. He decides to become a human and mm. sacrifice himself. The fairy dad becomes. The fairy dad yes. becomes human to sacrifice himself to save the mom. Yeah. They t totes bone. Yeah. It did not address the fact that I'm pretty sure Blackbeard was like keeping her as a like sex slave. Concubine, right? Like 100%. So maybe Pan is Blackbeard's type. That's what I thought, but then he's like half fairy because he can fly. Right. But I was definitely like, ooh, yikes. She was living in his dungeon for like a like a period of time. <laughs> At a certain point in this movie, it becomes Avatar. Yeah. There's like insane... <laughs> he like hops on these weird birds like, that have... Like skeletal, colorful birds, and then everything's glow... I mean, it looks like Ferngully, but also, sidebar, it looks like Avatar. It's insane. It was insane. Oh my god, we haven't talked about Garrett Hedlund. <laughs> he delivers a performance? He did such things with his mouth. Such things. It was shocking. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone's mouth get that big. Well, because there's a scene where he's just talking through a hole, and he was like doing a lot of, you know, acting through the hole, and he'd be like, Peta, I need ya. Come on! You know, it was just, it was weird. It was, it was really weird. It was really weird. And I was like, was Joe right behind the camera just going bigger? <laughs> I think so. Amp it up. He was doing some combination of like a John Wayne Humphrey Bogart accent. We're sailing now! It was so, but also like his. It was very, he was playing for the back row. It's Hook. The name's James Hook. Happy? No! He was like, hey there, little I, lady, let's <laughs> go down to the pond. Imagine <laughs> you're watching Star Wars. Yeah. And Her and Han Solo, who's great, yep. sucks. Wait, but April, but like, do you like Harrison Ford? Look, everybody likes Harrison Ford. <laughs> but that's what I said. He was trying to do that, like, I'm a smarmy asshole who's like into my own shit, but you love me anyway because I'm so fucking right. charismatic. But he but was not. He was like devoid of any charisma. You're pirates. Pirates? We're not pirates. Hold on. And so you were just like, maybe you should go. <laughs> yeah. And he even does the like, I'm leaving for my own benefit, and then shows <laughs> up at the end and is like, woohoo! Yeah. I came back to save you. This is the this was the gauge too. So we saw it in a theater with children. Yeah. Dead quiet. <laughs> well, and then there's like a weird, not love story between Hook and Tiger Lily. Your Highness, I was hoping to get you alone. <sighs> and I was like, wait, isn't she like a child? And then I was like, wait, isn't she into Peter Pan? I'm just like imagining, you know, if Captain Hook from the cartoon and Tiger Lily is like, ooh. Well, you just, I just thought like, I thought he was gonna lose his hand. I thought we would care. Nope. You know, like, oh, they're friends. <gasps> oh, no, they're well, not. Like, it was going to be like an Obi-Wan and Darth yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 not yeah. that that was handled well, but, you know, like the idea of it. Right. And and it just wasn't even addressed. I mean, does that mean that they thought <laughs> there was going to be a sequel? Yeah. Uh, we would hope to potentially, um, you know, make more of these. Like, was this planned for a trilogy where over the course of the three movies, Hook becomes bad? Oh, no. It's not happening. Oh my god, you remember that scene when they like get discovered by the, the tribal people? And, and then 
You mean when they walk into an anthropology store and everyone's wearing like pom poms and bright colors? They all had tents. And like some Tibetan flags. And like yarn curtains. But like, do you remember when they're having like the celebration and there's like oh, music like, going? Jump, jump, bop, 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 and I was yeah, like, wait. It was wait. like an end of Jedi. I was just like, because more than like, like definitely the, like lived in an Ewok village. Well, it had. I was just like, what is going on here? Like, I think the problem mm. is that I don't know what Peter Pan story they're referencing. True. And so, well, because at the end of the credits, it goes. Based on the characters introduced Deuce. by J.M. Barry. Because it's taken by one sentence. A sentence that mentions Blackbeard. You know, Hook at least, like, imagined its own whole... Like, that's its own story. Rufio! Rufio! Rufio. Yeah, right? Like, where was Rufio? I felt like Once Upon a Time did a better <laughs> job. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, we're talking about a show where the CG budget is like... Pinocchio! <laughs> it didn't look bad. No, it didn't look bad. Like, it didn't look like they ran out of money. No, they had too much money. They had too much money. It just was devoid of any kind of fun or charisma or, like, joy. Yeah. It, there, was a, there was a severe lack of joy. There really was. So now I have a question. Yeah. Was this better or worse than Peter Pan Live? <laughs> <laughs> worse. Really? Yeah. I feel like Peter Pan Live was more boring. Yes. This was kind of terrible, but but like less boring. I don't know, maybe just because like, it Peter looked Pan better. Live, I was like. <sighs> yeah, Peter Pan Live was really trudging. You know, and they seemed to be falling asleep. <laughs> At yeah. the same time, I was falling asleep. Certainly Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken was certainly trying his best. It was not working. I don't think that was his best. That was his, like, 20%. You know what, though? Christopher Walken's just a working actor. He says yes. It's part. true. He does. He's he like, yeah, says, you know I'll, I'll play Hook. Yeah. I'll work. Weird. I just want to work. I thought the kid was okay. He wasn't he, annoying. He wasn't, like... You know, it was no aliens. Right. He certainly was had a more subtle performance than any of the adults. And it really, really makes me question Joe Wright. Right. So, so at the end of the movie, they fly off in the Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger is written in pink neon. It looks like you're in the red light district in Amsterdam or something. So weird. Not explained at all. Does and it was like pirate ship have electrical. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I wouldn't see this movie. No. It's, it's like kind of an amazing train wreck. <laughs> it is. And you, oh, 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 and by the way, Amanda Seyfried is in it. Oh, wait, what? For five seconds. As the mom? As the mom who does parkour. She plays a lot of Laura Croft. <laughs> I love, that was how we were introduced to this movie, by the way. The opening scene, the mom walks up to the orphanage. In like a shroud. And but she doesn't walk up to the orphanage. She, she like, like a Laura Croft, like <laughs> hippity hop, whoop, whoop, whoa, over this fence. And he, and I went, oh no. <laughs> like that was the moment where I went, oh, this movie's going to be like next level terrible. Yeah. Like this isn't just going to be bad. This, this is going to be, be insane. Terrible. This movie, I... I just can't. I couldn't. I won't. No.